bids for cars. We have one from SMS. We have one from the co op. these are all of these have got kind of a AT trade all frame and uh, I'm kind of steered away from the highway trade. I think I'm hoping a deeper and more aggressive trade in my last one. This could be your discovery which one you uh Wrangler. Wrangler is what I was using and, and I really careful in the sidewalls get kind of really bumpy on the Wranglers. Both sets and I looked at the tires, so those uh, master crafts there to go up to a pretty good tire. I like to try it again. This uh, bit from SNS is also from Kansas Land Tire with Carol Disney. What brand is he been on? That's a good year in Scarborough. This is what I have on my three quarter ten right here in the next one. The master craft would be nine nine eighty eight thirty two mountain balanced. Yes. 
thousand years would be one hundred twenty-three or a thousand twenty-three. We still got those minutes too for my five screen. This that tire is going to be comparable to that master craft from the co op that you're thinking. Yeah. Out of 
I'll make a motion that we allow the chairman to sign this letter of agreement with Barton County in regards to dietitians for dietary consultation. Yeah, yeah. Education. Education. Yeah. And a motion and a second to sign the agreement for the WIC program. All in favor say aye. 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 Good morning. It's our board um, not yet. planning is coming out to do an audit in July.
water on it? I don't know what they do. Sweep up the water. That's why they said somebody cut a hole in the rubber sheeting. It comes in through electrical conduit. And so, of course, the Davises go out there and look. And I can look at the Davises, too. See why I'm dwindling on that. Back to these windows. Yes. He said to test for lead paint. Yes, he said that's the law. Well, you can buy a little pencil. It's no, like he didn't a, tell me he's been charging me to say that. Because. And you just, it's kind of like a magic marker. It's clear. And you just, I told him I said they've been scraped three times since I've been there. Oh, then we got to clear the yard out now. All the dust and the lead paint is in the soil, and yeah. it makes the lead five feet down all the way around the building. <laughs> Put in fresh dirt. Retirement uh, would have been so much better. Between windows and TV, and that's what they And then we had a chicken pox. That a right. chicken pox and a daycare. Oh, all right. So then we had to go do a lot of the daycare kids to see who were not in the United States. So we had to exclude two of them for 20 years. Stay on the concrete. <laughs> on the concrete. 
don't get in the grass. Uh, I go out there and get those flowers all the time for the week. That's why I'm so tired. I have like poisoning. And it's working with calm. Yeah, my daughter Jamie sold her house in Sterling. And the people that were buying it had an FHA loan, so they come in and appraise that there's two outbuildings that have peeling glass paint on it. So before they sell it, we have to go out and peel off the paint and at least put a coat of primer on it. So I, Brett and I go up there and peel off the paint. Now you got three little kids running around on the ground <laughs> playing, playing with the little pieces mm -hmm. of lead paint. How do you just That's worse than having the paint on the building. That's right. That's yeah. ridiculous. I know. And the paint's laying all around. I blew yeah. it off the mm -hmm. car orchard, <laughs> painted it. Oh, that's fine. And those kids are out there playing yeah. in it all the time. Well, we've had lead you know, inspections for people that have kids applying for it, and they go out and they take samples of the earth. And that's what it's from, is people scrape it easily. Well, these little kids would pick it up and play with it. I wouldn't be surprised what some of them did. They didn't eat it, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they were just running. They were just behind us the whole time, standing there while we were scraping it off. Yeah. I couldn't All right. That. Well, so keep you posted. All right. Thank you, Mr. Well, I really was glad that, that was the answer because I didn't know what to do. Yeah. 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 I'll sit on the Pharmacy, Redoc, 
package assets. Like here, all of those software programs are part of meaningful use, which will get us to an electronic medical record. That's it. We have to do that. We can't opt out of it. Um, ICD-10 was supposed to go into effect October 2014, and that has been postponed until probably October 2015. We still have have to train for that and implement all the software and the different coding. We don't have any real big purchases that we're expecting. We have a couple pieces that are expiring that will renew. Some lab thing I can't pronounce it. He's asking me if we call them, but we need them. So, but we've kind of, you know, after a oh, little after I started, and well, before I started actually making things and changes, we kept that at that level. We put on one per time person for physical therapy. Uh, the others have been primarily just replacing physicians as they retired or left or. We still had Hillary from Pratt helping us. Maybe that was what they might have been referring to. Since I opened my mouth, and I say something. Uh, as representing the group, when y'all at various times came and, and uh, visited our meetings, I was somewhat surprised, I guess is my word, to hear that you thought maybe with the the, there could have been some dicker or some uh, leeway in our budget presentation. What we brought was what we thought was a good number. I mean, you know, we weren't asking for 800,000, hoping for four and a half or something like that. See, I mean, we think that's a good number. Uh, it's enough to show a profit. I would like to see. My goal is not just to keep our nose above water. I think there's potential to grow, but we can't attract. And put it this way, it'd be much easier to attract any new, uh, uh, what was the word we were talking about a while ago, uh, outreach clinics from some other place, you know, like our wound care doctor comes uh, via uh, telemed now, uh, you know, we've got to look good to attract something. Uh, nobody wants to go to a dump. So, but I think it can be viable. Uh, I went to McCook, Nebraska, just drove by Trigo County Hospital, Graham County Hospital, and Norton County Hospital. Obviously, it can be done. So. Uh, and that, uh, and McKinsey already stopped, said something. We just, we got professional employees, we just can't get the McDonald's rejects. You know, we got the professional employees, you got to pay to keep them, or pay, I think it'd be easier to keep them than it would be to find new ones. And she already touched on the mandates, I'm sure you guys are familiar with mandates of your own. Uh, <laughs> The other thing is, the last thing is, uh, at one of the No Fund Warrant meetings, one of the ex county commissioners said he couldn't believe we stopped the bleeding at that time as good as he thought we could, and I think we've stopped it more since. And so, our biggest problem is we can't make people get sick and, and use a bed. But 
anyway, that's just uh, what we were presenting, what we think was a bottom line realistic number. Thank you. Thank you. Your I, best guess. Your uh, yeah. best guess. Yeah. I appreciate that because that was kind of the discussion I had with the board member right. last year. Uh, you, you need to make your case, you know, because you kind of, in, in here you kind of learn to expect that they're going to ask for extra hope yeah. for a certain and, percentage yeah. of it. And if that's not correct, you need to and I guess I was naive. I didn't know I could do that with that fair <laughs> money. <laughs> 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 it's all from the bottom line. We're not really showing too much of a profit with what we're requesting. Right. We're only showing an estimate of 67000 with what we're requesting. And that's what that would think of as plan, which never Could I add something also, because I thought it was impressive, uh, Mackenzie brought to us at the meeting Monday night that, you know, just who us, who, who are our people, I mean, who, who comes to our hospital? And uh, if there were 20 other towns in our area that come to the Stafford Hospital for care, so I think we are doing an outreach that is really important. Uh, and I was I was very uh, impressed with the, with the with the people who actually came into our, our uh, facility. Uh, that, I mean, they will choose us over some of the big ones because we do have better care, more personal care. For sure. I talked to somebody the other day from 30 miles away, and I said, well, where'd you go? And they said, it's Stafford Hospital. Wow. There were, there were over 250 came from Western Reno County. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, hey, you know, we just talked about this on the way over. They might grab a bite to eat on the way home, oh, yeah. fill up the car with gas. There's some tax dollars. I mean. A little bit at a time, but it's better than buying our gas at Reno. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was pretty nice. Um, well, I, and I have been involved with several budgets, and I think this budget has been, uh, they've done an excellent job of, of making sure that, that we're not bloody, putting blood into it. I mean, I've been through negotiations with, with people in budgets and trying to figure out uh, this isn't what this group does, and, and that was one of the things that I was appreciative of when I got on the board was that this is what we need and, and we're realistic about it. So, I appreciate it. What are other mandates that are on the horizon that, you know, what the rumor mill tells you that's, that's coming, you know, besides the electronic patient records? That's really the big focus right now is on meaningful use and, and all these. Reimbursement. They're looking at lowering the med. I, I was reading an article. Kansas uh, Health Institute is, is, is a, a nonpartisan group that uh, uh, puts out newsletters every now and then. And they, they had a newsletter yesterday about uh, uh, the, the gentleman who's head of the hospital association was talking about um, the federal government looking at um, we're not going to get as much for our Medicaid people. They're also that and they're also talking about uh, lowering costs for those who are uninsured. Uh, it doesn't really lower our costs. We 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 yeah we, we have to stand the cost of that. Uh, so we're looking they're looking at lowering it for us, so we're gonna have to pick it up. Uh, and in McKenzie's reports I noticed that last Monday night that thirty one percent of our, our people who come to the hospital are private pay. And we've got to go after those monies who don't get when they don't come in, which is another cost. And we're the government's involved, the less you're going to collect. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neither do I. Yeah. They're also changing more from a quantity to yeah, a quality based reimbursement. So less people in the bed. Yeah. And it's based on surveys. So you could get one not satisfied customer that fills out the survey that skews your payment mm -hmm. for yeah. everybody. everybody. Yeah. So. And there's one who's on Medicare. <coughs> I'm concerned too about you know what they're going to cost on that. But, uh, the reimbursements on Medicare. So I mean it's going to affect all of the people over 65. <laughs> there are two. That's also going to affect what, it, what hospitals uh, collect. Oh, yeah. so it's, 
a lot of the stuff that I, a lot of the emails and stuff I've been reading are not very positive for healthcare in general. And I uh, read something the other day, a gentleman that works at a critical access hospital has written, and, and uh, it was kind of enlightening. You know, he said, this is what a small hospital has been doing for years. You know, I mean, it's, it's going to be, you know, difficult. You have to watch what you're doing, but that's what we're doing anyway. Yeah. I mean, we're not like the bigger hospitals. We have to be very careful. So there's nothing, I mean, we pretty well got our bases covered as far as updating computers, uh, software. Yeah. The computers are on rotation for, diagnostic testing machines and all that or you know there's no there's nothing that might explode in the next day or two no. No. because of age it's a wonder one since we're talking about age <laughs> <laughs> The reason I ask is Doris was here just earlier, mm -hmm. and and so even the health department is coming to lab to go to electronic patient records, mm -hmm. you know, and we're looking at, at the startup cost and how much per month. And Most of ours have been implemented, and we're kind of in a group because we're all in the same Supposed to go. We're supposed to be paperless, right? 
We're supposed to eventually get to the point where, say, you have a car wreck in Ashland, Kansas. That doctor down there can go to portal and get your patient records. So they know what you're so allergic to, what you're to, to or what medicine you're on. Do you get information? Or, yeah. Well, or can, I wonder about the access to that. <laughs> yeah. To me, that's kind of going backwards. I mean, some good computer guy can figure get your health records yeah. on anybody he wants to get. Yeah. We've had that discussion. <laughs> They don't care. <laughs> They've already got our credit card number anyway. So. <laughs> and and <laughs> might as well have it just issued issue by the engine. Just carry it right here to the chain. So when you're in the left, it's quite a bit. I've got to get to our Dylan's card. Plug it into the drill. I've got Dylan's card on your keychain. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> electronic medical records started a long time ago and then meaningful use <clears throat> it wasn't necessarily a direct product of the Affordable Care Act. Well this all started over ten years ago. Yeah. But why now all of a sudden we have to do it now? Well I think your bureaucrats have gotten in there and said <laughs> Again, I'm not <laughs> You guys will throw me out. I get to go on and I can't stop. <laughs> I sound anti-government sometimes, and I'm not, but it, that's all right. <laughs> in the building, are you able to less staff than the front office? Um, well, we were, yeah, we, we went from having one and a half builders in the one season, but last year we were down to one, mm -hmm. and she went on maternity leave, and we contracted out with the central building office, um, and then I was doing, you still have to have somebody in-house to scan stuff and work the problems, and now she is back part-time doing She knows more of it than I did, so she's able to faster you get stuff fixed, faster you get it out, and faster you get made. And some of that she just knows to fix, whereas I was happy to give it to the department and say, here, here's what they're saying is wrong with it. So. But they're doing a great job getting stuff moving and filled. And Getting stuff back to us to fix before it gets filled, then the wait time is even longer. Yeah, it's going to be the best for yeah. Can I ask a question? Since I'm new to this, this process, and uh, do do we then get something back from you guys to tell us what's going on, or I mean, how does how does it work that that so uh, so we know what what we're doing and you're doing and how that all works? Because I, I I just don't know yet how that works. The budget's published in the paper. Is that, that is that our old notification? Can we get a notification ahead of time to kind of know what we if our budget yeah, passed? Hearing. <coughs> There's the budget hearing. But, but it all happens before August twenty fifth. Everything has to be yeah, on August twenty fifth. Yeah, right. I'm not familiar with. Um, so we could go to that. Anybody come to the hearing? Sure. Is there a uh, and it's published in the paper when the hearing is? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't hear what you said. We have workshops. Yeah, but all sorts of Okay. Oh, I just didn't know how the process you worked. Have your budget work. yeah. <laughs> you can bring them. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great idea. Yes, you do. Okay. We're, you, you're on a tight budget. We really are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the government did you this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The budget hearings are sweet. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner provided? <laughs> I do one. <laughs> do you guys have any questions about our numbers? Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
I just didn't know if there was any questions. I hadn't been here since I submitted my budget. I didn't know if you guys had any questions over that. It's kind of hard to go, you know, for just a few months I've been here and knowing what this next year is. Saying radios, 
Well, we're oh, just trying yeah. to do the 800s. The 800s. Yes. yes. Yeah. We we're fine on everything else. It's the 800s. We asked Rob about that. We asked Rob about that. Yeah. Because I guess, you know, I did rescue the EMPG grant. We are getting that this year. Okay. It's going to be a little higher than it was last year. Next year might be a little bit more tricky. I mean, if Davin would actually get named as the assistant EM, then I can claim his wages in the grant. They won't let me claim any part of my wages in the grant because I'm already sworn public safety official. So what Topeka told me. They helped me walk through this deal and rescue it, so we did get it this year. And whenever the federal people release the money, someone will get it. That's what they told me. So but yeah, that is for the 800 stuff, so we can keep up doing that. As you all know, they're very expensive and it's hard to get good grants for that. And the EMPG grant won't allow for radio purchases or like vehicle purchases. That's the two items they don't allow for. Seems like the buzzword this year is radios, copiers, and signs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next thing I'm going to deal with is. is there's a piece of equipment on my inventory that really doesn't fit any use I have. And it is that old ambulance out there that was designated as a rehab unit slash command unit. I have a hard time calling that a command unit for my use because number one, it doesn't have 110 volt electricity and you can't even plug a computer in there. And in my world, everything's done by computer. I mean, every single thing is done by computer. You know, it doesn't actually have, it's got two radios in it, but it doesn't have any 800 communications, so it doesn't work for other counties. But the fire department can use that as a rehab vehicle, where firefighters can get in, you know, cool down in the summer, or warm up in the winter, because it does have heat and air. And I'm thinking, you know, if the fire department has more use for it, because I guess there was some verbal agreement made with Steve when he was here for St. John County Station to use it also as a rehab unit. It just really doesn't fit my needs. <laughs> And I just wonder if we couldn't transfer ownership of it over to the fire department. We're in grants with it, so we, we can use it as, as a fire department, we can use it, that's not a problem. Whether it's growing out as a rehab unit or right now, even having our, putting our two tactical dispatchers in and then bringing stuff out. They can work out of it pretty easy. But just like Doug said, it doesn't have 110 volt electricity, you can't plug a laptop to it, it doesn't have 800 communication to it either. So for now, I mean, for our needs, it works good. It carries extra gear for the county city station and very little for the city station. It's mostly all county stuff that's on there. So I, as, as in my a, world, it, I need computers and I need yeah. lots of mapping, which, you know, I carry lots of maps in my own personal vehicle now. So uh, we discussed this last week at Chiefs meeting. And the Chiefs are all on board with so it. That's fine. If it was all right with you guys. I don't have a problem with it. So we need a formal transfer, or just say, Here, here's the keys? I, I, it's <laughs> done. It's just from one inventory list to the other inventory list, I think. There's no money changing hands. No, no. Darn. Yeah, they don't sell the thing. Well, I have to make insurance. You're not done yet, maybe. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. We've got a little Pandora's box there. We'll have to put it off of the hand. Emergency management. Yeah. 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 Hey, you guys want to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> no, not future. Do, right? <laughs> do you remember what we just discussed on the way there? We're trying to be friends here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he didn't have any. I'll be back. <laughs> the other half of the show has one. I got two. two. You got two. Oh, just remember, I'm, I'm better with Sparky than he is. So. <laughs> uh, my other deal is. I don't know there's times maybe another vehicle is needed. You know, when I took this job, you know, I have no problem using my own for my stuff. None whatsoever. I mean, there's times Davin and I have talked a lot. I mean, he's running so much and using the other vehicle, we didn't know if maybe we should think about trying to find something else just to use for emergency management, have for the laptops in it permanently, stuff like that. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are. And that's why I was just... <coughs> Well, you know, that used one's fine by me. You know, another one like the Tahoe the fire department chooses now would be perfect too. Because it would be strictly set up for EM and then like Davin's running bottles. Well, I kind of had him do a little homework assignment what else it could be used for because it'd be more utilized. It wouldn't set the station all the time because he's running bottles to Salina. You know, it could also be used for EMS plus emergency management. I don't need, 
My whole point is I don't need it at my house. I don't need it at Stafford's. It could be used over here quite regularly, more than the fire department one is. I don't know, it was just something I threw out there was thinking about, because that way it could be set up for everything that I would actually need, plus that some also we imagine we carry full array of EMS gear in here too, so it could be used for a little bit of everything. And I don't know, that's why I was just kind of put the feeders up to see what you guys thought, because if we do want to do something like that, we kind of got to get put on the list at the state, because what they say about six months, three to six months, three to six months for the year, <coughs> many more, many now. So, and the reason why I was thinking that this year because my budget's a little higher this year, you know, so it could take something like that. And then as far as fuel and stuff like that, if Davin was using it, you know, he said like fire, fire to pay for the gas, EMS, EMS pays for the gas, and it's EM. So, so that's why my budget is. It is basically a backup unit for EMS and ALS. AL, or excuse me, a backup yeah. ALS unit, and then fire-wise, whatever we use, if we need to run personnel from. One fire scene to the next. I mean, shuffle. is it just something we could share across? We could, yeah, and that's not a problem. We, we're open to whatever you guys want to do. Well, I didn't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't under, I understand. I think I understand what you're using that for. But yeah. In my in my mind, I. Simply yeah, think, I mean, it, you could. Is there times when you, you, it would not work? The, uh, I, the only time I see that happening when she hit <clears throat> the paramedics that she's wanting to come in for the weekends that she's yeah, been still working right. on. If they have to respond to another town, they take it and there's nothing here. Uh, the reason why that kind of brought was it last week, Davin, mm -hmm. when I had you and Misty both in Stafford, you know, and it's kind of this where an extra vehicle would help because, you know, they just have to come over and do the runs because when I'm on duty, I can't do the transfers. I can do the emergency runs, but then we have to bring somebody over to St. John to go with my other tech and take off the runs. So we ended up with almost the entire fleet in Stafford parked. So, I mean, in different times. Worst case scenario, that's it. Or you have a major incident where you have everything else out. Right. So, and mm -hmm. we don't get too many of those major incidents, and we're so we're getting that major on the car. But, uh, I mean, worst case scenario, that's what And like back when the tornadoes did hit, when Davin, I know, was assigned by Steve to go out and do all the disaster assessments, you know, for almost two weeks solid, he was out every day with the vehicle. You know, if you're relying on your ALS unit, you know, here it's way out in the county somewhere. Because he was doing all the disaster assessments, which do take time in those incidents. Pray to God we don't have another one of those. But. And that's why I was thinking along those lines. But I just thought I'd toss it out there and see what everybody thought. See what you can find, I guess. I guess if that's, you know, if that's what we're going to go with, I'd probably need some permission so I'd actually get placed on that state list. I mean, you need something that size? Or? I don't know if they have anything smaller, but I've been looking through state inventory and you just don't see anything else. Yeah, based on this, it's tall moves or cars. Built uh, crown, old crown, crown Vicks and chargers. And chargers. Very, very few chargers by Crown Vicks. Uh, and I'm going to tell you from the dirt roads I've been down, no car. <laughs> so no, <laughs> we'd be in world of trouble. Occasionally they have the pickups, but they're few and very far between and they're normally mild out. Quite a bit. Yeah, maybe something that we can find. Something for those that might want to walk a lot, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would suit. Yeah, just kind of want permission just to kind of look around. All right. It doesn't hurt to look. Nope, it does not. Okay. But it would be a good idea to get on the list. Yeah. Like the state, if there is. Yeah, we can always turn it down, but that just yeah. places on the list that one does come up and we can let you know. And if we decide we don't want to do that, we're definitely not committed to it, but I would have to have your permission to be placed on the list. So. Okay, we got we got our grant from uh, for Kansas Forestry Service grant that we put in for. We only got half the money of what we asked for, which was twenty eight hundred dollars. So, with respect, and he told. He told me to call back in two weeks. He's got some leftover funds, and he's had a few apartments that have called and said, hey, we need to get it in. And time to give them 15 days. If they get something into him, they, he may award them something, he may not. At that point in time, he said, call back in two weeks. If we have any leftover funds, I may be able to quote you another $2,800 for a supplemental letter saying, hey, we're going to go ahead and cost share another 
another one for you. So instead of buying the one remote or two remote monitors, we're basically getting one right now. Right now, or at least as as it stands, we're gonna have to act on this grant money because we'll have to get an order and they'll we'll pay for it and they'll cut us the check back or up here or reimburse reimburse money. We do have three bids. The two that you guys we had already given you guys, um, the Weiss was the six thousand nine hundred and forty four forty four plus shipping and handling. Uh, Max Fire finally got back with us. It's going to be a total of six thousand sixteen oh seven with two hundred and sixty dollars shipping and handling included in that. And MES is coming in at fifty six hundred dollars flat, no shipping, no handling. The other company never did get back with us. That kind of what's going to happen is we're about last week to get that quote in. So, our suggestion would be to go to the NES. Yeah, even though it's no shipping, you know, you're still not going to get that much. Yeah. Well, no, they're not charging a shipping. Oh, they're not charging a shipping. Okay. $5,600 okay. on they're not charging a shipping. I don't know what they're doing. So, you've got shipping on that or not? There's no, 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 there's
If it is arising by your personal executive session, if it's in the success on the person. I can wish we have an executive session for 15 minutes. You know, all, you know, all of us. All of us are present. For 15 minutes. No second. And we have a motion and a second to the executive session for non election personnel for 15 minutes. <coughs> Our breath machine is uh, causing some fits out of the state. It uh, didn't pass its uh, standard test like it should have, and it was due to lack of service last year with the person that set in the position that admin sits in now, and we're paying for it dearly. We have failed another test. So we're going to kind of see what we have to do. It's kind of in the company's hand right now. I mean, they're saying it can come out of it, which won't be a problem. It'll take two or three times of service calls, calls and service calls on real service and all this stuff. But uh, as chiefs, we're not very happy, especially when it was a piece of equipment that was purchased to tell firefighters and that down. So just to let you know there might be some a few hefty bills that be coming this way for that thing. That's what it's for. What do you have to do to service it? Change filters, change the blue it. And it takes a service tank to do it and all of this. Kind of this is a positive uh, pressure machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a moisture problem with the systems and everything. Too high of a moisture positive. Mm -hmm. We're talking 10 to 20 times higher is what our testing is coming out there than what the state allows. Because of 24 parts per million, and we tested it at parts per million. So, it was a slip up in a prior administration, and we are not. So, we can tell how thrilled we are about it. What's the drain? It's a Scott. Scott? Yeah. And that's one of the reasons it has Scott stuff. They almost you don't serve Scott's. They, it's, it's very hard to you know, They tie it in there. They have to do it's it. It's worse than those roller radios. And they're talking about it. nothing worse than that. Possibly two or three more of those. <laughs> just to do it. Get, get it all out of there. So, just, a, head, just a heads up. Heads up, you see a big bill. That's what it's for. Same all the time. How big, how big a bill? More than the yeah, road oil? Than, yeah. More than the oil. No, 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 more than road oil. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would say probably a little bit more than what our spending. Total might be twenty five to thirty five hundred dollars. I mean total. I mean so that's out of the ordinary. Uh between twenty five and thirty five thousand really? dollars. So and so so this one's not that old. Medical so. equipment category. No. It's a. This is strictly for breathing air for breathing air for the air packers. That's why they can't have a high moisture. The firefighters are taking that in. So. Good thing is we have one of the staff here that we can use. So if we run into a pinch, we took an extra. It's not our. It would kill us if we used. It's just not. It's not on the state standards. Yeah. Yeah. So. But state says to shut the machine down. Yeah. yeah. So it's on lockout until further notice, so I don't know if they're testing it every time. I don't know either, but fair warning that's what we're dealing with. So all right. Thank you. Until so right. next time. Yeah. <laughs> you you want to see the uh, bad news. You want to see the uh, deer slaying machine that's out on the uh, west side of the courthouse. So. <laughs> it's back in the fixed yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, deer was the one. Sire moved us. Come out and take a look at it. Grill Garden's actually pulling its ass. It's a strong set of batteries. Yep. It's a good piece of junk. Mine's on the left one. I'm sure. I'm driving. I'm doing all right. Have you hit anything? No. He's too old to go that fast. This is true. I'm glad that came out of your mouth. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> he started it. Anything else? I don't have anything. <clears throat>